Welcome to Live and Laster Style channel. I'm Cam. And I'm Sherry. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Share, like, comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. If you are our family and been here with us on our journey, hello, Cold Chilies, and welcome back. And if you are new to our channel, welcome to the Living Laster Style channel. Thank you so much. Today we have our fall kitchen tour. And um, as you can see, I did a little bit of the um, black and white buffalo check. So Cam is going to show you, and guys, this is new for our channel. Cam actually helped me decor this year. So Cam is going to go ahead and tell you about all the items above the kitchen counter. So Cam did this part of the kitchen. So I'm going to let Cam go ahead and describe what, um, what he decided to do in the upper cabinets. Go right ahead, baby. I decided it would look nice if I got a couple of pumpkins and then a, a pumpkin in the middle. See right there. Those right there. I thought that would look nice. I actually did this when my wife was at work and I decided to decorate. So, and I also, um, what I thought was cool was the lanterns. Right there and right there. Um, we actually painted those. I think those were white before. So we painted those um, like a gray texture or whatnot. And then also in the middle of the, the lanterns is our L. Our monogram. Yeah. It's our monogram. Yes. Little Laster style channel. But that's, you know, L for Laster. So then we got over here the pumpkin wagon. And because we have bump out cabinets and the middle one is kind of, uh, it's kind of spacey back there. Because I wanted this somewhere else, but it looked perfect right there because of the space. So that is our pumpkin wagon. So then I decided to hang uh pictures of as you can see we have a c pumpkin and an s pumpkin ain't that cute ain't that cute right there ain't that cute and then we have the uh uh, uh, uh the bless sign the bless sign and we also have the l right there the l pumpkin and then another wagon, but this one is a white wagon. So that one is smaller than the, the previous wagon I just showed you, the gray wagon. So that was centered very nicely there. Then we have a sign here for Harvest Pumpkin Patch, Apple Cider, Corn Maze. So I just thought that was cute of how everything just blended together. And my wife really liked it. Like I said, I did this all Yes, you guys, Cam did an amazing job uh, with the upper cabinets. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did over here um, in our coffee bar area. Um, I decorated this year with owls. I absolutely love, love, love owls. Um, I have these little wicker pumpkins here. Um, I put like, um, they had like Christmas lights in them already, but I added more. Um, Christmas lights to them just to make them a little bit brighter. I also added this little buffalo check pillow there to add the theme in the house of little punches of buffalo check in the house. Um, I also did this little brown owl and six owl mugs. And then here I found this um, pumpkin made of like tree bark to match the tree bark um, tier, um tray here um stand so i put that there as well and just put some little pumpkins and things like that under there and then my little pump my little sign that says rise and shine is coffee time and right now i am burning my favorite bath and body works candle which is marshmallow fireside and the candle holder you guys actually has a owl on the front of it so i tried to tie in all of the owl um things here so this is what i did in my little coffee cocoa area here um for fall and then over here in this little area i just took 
a bowl, put a candle holder underneath, and just added some pumpkins and acorns and um, pine cones and pumpkins in there. And then I have my little Bath and Body Works plug in. Um, I have this another Bath and Body Works um, candle holder here with a little fox on it. Um, and again, I'm burning another Bath and Body Works um, marshmallow fireside candle. And then here I mimic that pumpkin that is lit um, on like on the other side. And then I have a gourd there with another pumpkin in white and gold. And then I just have this little sign here that says, welcome to our pumpkin. I'm sorry, welcome to our patch. And you have the little pumpkins there. Um, in here on this little vignette over here, I just have a I love a sign with a buffalo check candle and then a white pumpkin and a orange pumpkin and then in the back i have another bath and body works um plug in over there and then right here on the kitchen table as you can see i went ahead and i did um the buffalo check table runner and then right here this is what i did here on my stand i have a little acorn there that is in orange um it actually has the buffalo check ribbon and then here I just did a little welcome sign and then these little coffee cups um, that are in Buffalo Checks and it has our initials on there. And then here on the other side, I have fall in love sign here and then another um, Buffalo Check pumpkin. And then over there on the stove, I have a Buffalo Check um, table, uh, I'm sorry, towel with a uh, burnt orange one on top of it. So basically, this is how we actually decorate it for fall in our kitchen. And oh yeah, I have right there in the window, I put a hello fall sign. That sign actually came from um, Kirkland's. And over our pantry door, I put a little family sign there that I hauled from Ross. So that is how we actually decorated the kitchen for fall of 2019. I really enjoyed working with Cam. Um, you know, decorating. This is like the first time Cam has ever kind of decorated with me. So I think Cam did an amazing job. Um, if you have any questions about the kitchen and what we where we purchase certain item up, items, please put a comment um, below. Um, and we'll most definitely answer it for you. Again, we thank you so much for um, watching our video. Please hit that like button. Leave us a comment. Um, again, we'll see you on the next video. And thank you again. Have a great evening. Bye.